when NVIDIA unveiled the RTX 20 series GPUs, it was doing a lot of new things, primarily real-time ray tracing. But the big thing about those cards is they were pretty expensive and uh, honestly kind of hard to get for a while. Now NVIDIA is taking a slightly different step. It's introducing the RTX 2060, which is more affordable at $349 and will really open up the world of real-time ray tracing to a lot more gamers. At CES, NVIDIA showed off exactly what we could expect from real-time ray tracing and other features too, like DLSS, which is their technology that uses AI and deep learning to look at a really high quality version of a game and break it down so that uh, you could get a better quality version of a game without running it at that high resolution. There are a couple of things going on here. The really cool thing about real-time ray tracing is that it's bringing some of the technology we used to see in like Hollywood movie production, uh, but making it more something that you could actually use in the game today. So there are a handful of titles that support it, like Battlefield 5, and that one is using real-time ray tracing for reflections and uh, refractions and things like that around mirrors and glass. We saw a couple examples here, and the game still looks really good. Uh, that's something they released shortly after that game came out. What's really amazing is that the 2060, which is such an inexpensive card, can also do a lot of this really cool real-time ray tracing stuff uh, at 1440p, so it's not running at 4K, but the game still looks really good. Uh, the reflections around the mirrors and all sorts of objects. Uh, at one point, I was looking at myself in a car uh, and other vehicles. Um, when you blow up a barrel, that'll kind of reflect across other elements in the scene and your gun. Um, that's really all making gameplay look a lot more realistic than it used to. With traditional rasterized rendering, uh, we're really trying to guess and use math to determine something like shadows and reflections. And this is a nice step forward. And we also saw a couple other demos uh, that show off what could be done with real-time ray tracing. There's a Chinese MMO called Justice that's using just about every feature I could see here. So reflections, uh, different types of lighting and diffusion. Uh, everything about that game just looks like very next level. It looks like something you'd expect from maybe a CG film and not a game that's actually running in real time. And NVIDIA has a Soul demo as well that does a lot to show off the reflections and other capabilities. I think the main thing is that um, with real-time ray tracing, the light sources just look a lot more realistic. So if there was sunlight, the way it projects on a scene uh, across trees and determines shadows and things like that can look a lot more realistic. But the big thing is soft shadows. And that's something we're seeing uh, in a couple demos. Uh, if you turn real-time ray tracing off, you can see exactly what it's like when a game, you know, has normal hard shadows. Uh, the shadows are there. They don't really look very good or very realistic, but you turn on RTX and all of a sudden the shadows are soft and they reflect with the lighting in a way that seems more natural and something you'd expect to see in the real world. And I think that's a huge improvement. For so long in games, we've really been chasing, you know, resolution, native 4K rendering, and that gets us good looking games to a point. But honestly, it seems like a lot of these new features uh, will really make games at lower resolutions look a lot better. And that's a good thing all around. That's a good thing for GPUs like the 2060, which is affordable, uh, but also even NVIDIA's older systems as well, like a lot of that stuff will be reflected in the 10 series cards. But what's really cool with the RTX lineup uh, that's also headed to laptops now, all these features are really going to step up fidelity, uh, overall game performance too. With DLSS, uh, games will actually run a little better because they don't have to do all the anti-aliasing rendering on their own. They're actually taking some info from NVIDIA's deep learning tech. So there's a lot going on here. And it seems like a really exciting time to be playing games. Right now, a lot of these features are a little hypothetical. Uh, Battlefield V, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider are some of the few that include them right now. But hopefully this year, especially with having a more affordable card out there, NVIDIA can prove to partners that uh, this is something they actually want to spend time developing for. Uh, in many ways, this looks like the future of gaming and the future of you know, game rendering. It'll be interesting to see how developers react to this. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news from CES 2019.